In this episode of Rob Christie Hike Across America, we continue with our mission to try to find something worth doing in every state. This week, we kick off Cave Month by doing an entire month dedicated to nothing but cave exploring. We'll be checking out both commercial caves and some local favorites, and also learning a little bit about proper cave etiquette. Now, our first set of caves are located in the Lake Springfield area, which are some local hotspots, and you've probably seen them if you were ever kayaking on the lake or down the James River. I'm up here at a Lake Springfield, Springfield Lake, down on the James River where these old uh, train tracks used to be. It's supposed to be a cave down here. We're gonna try to find it here and I'm just gonna check it out. Now the first cave is located off of Ridgecrest Street or South Crenshaw. It's the same street, just has two names. The park on the side of the road where the train tracks used to be and it's about 100 feet from there. Looks like I might have found it, if not, I think I, yeah, I think I did find it. A pretty big spring coming out of it. Looks like I found a safer way to get down, but it is on the wet side, which I was hoping I wouldn't have to do, because I don't want to try to jump across these rocks and slip, but maybe I can see a better way from this side. Definitely the drier side, the other side. I don't think I could get in. Might have to do some rock climbing here. I'm gonna climb down this little rock here. Hopefully I can get back up there with no problem. I know there's a cave from the other side. Supposedly there's another entrance about 100 feet down uh, south from here. We'll try to check that one out and see if we can actually get into that cave from here. We'll look at this one and see how far we can get in. Looks like somebody got a little campsite going on. Find the spring right there. Let's see. Pretty decent opening. Yeah, so I tried to go in there a little bit and the mud is so sticky and thick. I was just sinking in pretty quick and there's real no ledge in there that you can actually walk on that's not mud. So I'm not gonna risk losing my shoes or getting stuck in there. I'm gonna try to find that other opening and see if we can't do something there. Now this cave reminded me a lot of the one at Sicriota Park, which I'll leave a link to that video up top. I do plan on coming back here at some point with my kayak and exploring the cave that way. And I'll see if I can't climb back out of here. Shouldn't be too far away, I don't think. According to the map, I'm overshot just a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can see from the water banks here. So I couldn't find the second entrance of the cave. I went where the marker said and walked easily 100 feet down the river and looked both directions. I didn't see nothing, so I don't know. Now our next stop is just down the road from where we were just at, on the same set of train tracks. The we'll park at the fishing access off of 169, and it's just a short walk to the train tracks from there. I'm up at Lake Springfield and on the here for a second attempt to try to find this cave that's uh, off the railroad tracks and by the side of the lake. Last time I was here I couldn't find it but I didn't think I went far enough. It looks like it. These train tracks are abandoned ever since they blew up the power plant. They dug up some of the railing on the other side and these are all grown over. So they're 
Ain't no concern for a train coming through. So it looks like I found it. And it actually ain't too hard to get to from the train tracks here, so we're gonna go on down and check it out. Now it is only a short 10 minute walk from the parking lot to the cave, but it can also be accessed from the lake as well. I might have to put my phone down and really gravelly. This one's gonna be a pretty cool cave. Definitely one you have to crouch down, get into. So, didn't look like it goes back too far though. Or maybe it does. Yeah, it does look like it goes back a little bit ways, but I can see something like coming in from the other side. So I guess it's just kind of like a tunnel deal. You can actually stand up a little bit in here. Well, it looks like the tunnel definitely collapsed her at the end, but somebody could dig it out if they wanted to make it go all the way through. Oh yeah, you can see right there. Little window going into the lake. Cave. I don't like crouching on the sharp rocks, but other than that, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I hate crawling. And now for the etiquette portion of the video. I understand this cave is easy access from the lake, and there is literally a housing track right behind it kids from the neighborhood probably come down here and party on the weekends but that's no excuse to leave your trash and your beer bottles and definitely no excuse to be spray painting yeah so that's a really cool cave definitely guy who came here right actually the little little one before her the small ones I've done here in the uh, past week. You definitely got to watch your head. I hit my head on the ceiling here just a second ago. There is another little cave here at Springfield Lake, or Lake Springfield. Not as big as this one, it goes in about 10 feet maybe, 
and just a little hideout. But uh, it's it's a river cave, or you just pull off on the side. You can get to from the top, but I'm not gonna do it in this video. It's not worth my time to go over there, but I'll do it another time. In the next episode of Rob Christie Hike Across America, we continue with Cave Month by checking out some more local favorites and hidden gems. So if you found yourself liking this video and you wanna see more, please like, share, subscribe. There's plenty on the channel, more on the way. Until next time, keep on hiking.